Well, hello. Thanks for joining me again. Once again, I'm with my friend Peter Dark of Dark Cycles, and we're looking at some of his wonderful collection of bikes. And this one is absolutely fantastic. So I'm looking forward to Peter's telling us all about this bike. Right, well, I have an uh, affliction uh, where I collect lots of bikes, uh, and this happened to be a Grebe Scottish. But it's not actually a Grebe Scottish, or it is and it isn't. As you can see, it's got a Japanese engine in it, but all the rest of it is proper Scottish. So all we need to do is fit a Villiers engine if we want to make it into a pure bike. But whoever's built it over the years has rebuilt the wheels, new stainless spokes, uh, They've got the full width hubs. You've got your leading link forks. Uh, I think the back end might have been modified. Or maybe the Scottish bikes had a slightly more angled to give them a little bit more suspension. But believe it or not, this is the type of thing that uh, Don, Don Smith, I do believe, rode up in the Scottish six day trials. Um, but that's it. It's got a Suzuki engine um, and it's something different. Even though it's not got the sort of the authentic, the, the right engine in it, if you like, this is still a very interesting engine, isn't it, Peter? Yeah, I think this is from the, the 80s. Um, Suzuki made some road bikes under the GP name, I do believe. And this is a GP125 engine. Um, it has a disc valve, so your carburetor's in here, and it goes induction straight at the end of the crank. So this looks like a hand-built exhaust on there then, Peter? Yes. With a little silencer on the back. It's a lovely work of art that, isn't it? But I actually had it running and took it for a little run around the garden and I couldn't believe how well it steered. But it is a trials bike and obviously they were renowned as being uh, quite good in the, in the time. So is, it, is this like the original front end on it, the original uh, yes. brake? Again, unit, link, it? link. Yeah. yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful Earlier setup. Models actually had a thing called a paddle hub which had big fins on the outside for cooling whether the brakes overheated i don't know or it was just a design idea so you know e even though it, it would be nice to put you know a proper villiers engine in here it's kind of it's nice having something unique like this isn't well, that's it right you don't see many suzuki engines in a british bike that's right you know it's it's a, definitely a one-off special is this yeah, isn't I, it i can't obviously get a hold of the guy to find out why it's got this engine in it. All I can presume is it wasn't as easy to get a hold of the Villiers engine as it was to something you've maybe already had. Yeah, so what's this then, Peter, down here? Again, this is your cable oiler, and you fill this area of the swing arm up with oil, and it just drips onto your chain. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Put the Sammy Miller sticker on there, I see, as well. Yeah, as I say, whether Samuel Miller made some chain guards, it's quite a substantial piece of material. It is, isn't it? It might be a sticker, I don't know. But that to me is good quality. Is that a fiberglass tank? Then? No, it's an aluminium tank with a Monza cap, which uh, still works. Wonderful. Nice clean inside the tank because it's aluminium. What a beauty. So, Peter, many thanks for showing me yet another one of your collection of extremely interesting bikes. I'm sure that my channel viewers have enjoyed this. So, um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.